All right, hello Sage, welcome back to my channel. All right, this is going to be a next 48 update for Sage, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. All right, so before this reading, before I turn the, this on, I heard exclamation point. All right, so I feel like I feel like you're saying something exclamation point or something is final. All right, just period dot. All right, so let's see. Sage, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. I'm, I'm hearing I said what I said, and that's the end of it, just period. There's nothing more to say. There's nothing more to do. There's no further action that can be taken. It's the end of the line. All right, let's see. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Something is over here, okay? I'm getting no more funding, no more support. Something just cannot be done. It cannot continue the way that it has been, the way that it has been going on. It's just the end of something, okay? So let's see. Sage, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. All right, messages, April 17.18. We have the Judgment card. Okay, so uh, you're being called to do something or you're, you're calling the Tower card. Someone is calling you out of nowhere, a call that you're not expecting. I'm getting this call that's coming through while you're busy. All right, I'm getting, it could be an Aquarian possibly. All right, let's see where this is going. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, yes, I'm getting you haven't heard from this person in like in a month or in two months or in several months. All of a sudden, they're going to call you out of the blue. We have the Knight of Wands and then we have the Hangman. Yeah, so I'm getting it's been several months. Now, I'm getting, I'm getting you have been anticipating this call. You did not believe it was going to take this long uh two three months but here the the call is coming in now all right i'm getting like all of a sudden someone's going to show up at your place or show up at your place of work out of the blue all right what is the will of fortune i'm getting you don't get the call because you're at work or you're doing something else you could uh, i'm getting the call comes in when you're either at work or working out all right but let's what's the will of fortune please or you may have to you may have to travel somewhere at a moment's notice. Somebody may ask you to come in. So I feel like someone's gonna call you. Um, it's gonna seem like a state of emergency. Like you know, it's gonna be a sense of urgency. We need you to come in tomorrow, next week, Monday, and then they're gonna have you waiting. All right. So I'm getting hurry up and wait. All right. Yeah. So what's the okay? The will of fortune. So it's almost like somebody rushes you to do something. Somebody rushes you to come in right here, right now. You have to be there within the hour. Then once you get there, they have you waiting outside or waiting all day or waiting for several hours. Or they call you and then you, when you call back, they have you on hold for several hours or they have you on hold for a really long time. What is the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, we have the King of Cups, the Qu the King of Wands, and the Fool card. Yeah, you have to leave at a moment's notice, okay? So somebody, I, I feel like someone's going to call you and say you have to be there within the hour. All right, what is the, what is the, uh, what is the hangman? Or you have to call back within the hour, you have to check in or something like that. What is the hangman, please? But I'm getting, I'm getting they're going to call you while you are busy. They know that you are busy. They know that you are at work or you're doing something else. You're occupied. They're going to call you and say, hey, this is such and such. Can you be here within the hour? Can you call us back within the hour? Knowing that you're not going to get that call within the hour, okay? So I feel like this is, this is about to be something, okay? We have the death card. Okay, I'm getting once you get there, once you rush there, once you call them back, they're going to change up everything, okay? No, we changed our mind or we changed the schedule or you don't have to be here after all. So somebody's playing games. Somebody's trying to waste your time. What's the death card? Yeah, the seven of swords. It's a scheme. It's a plot. They're lying. All right, so someone's going to say, hey, Sagittarius, we need you to come here within the hour. Can you be here? Um, you know, you're scheduled to be here or you're scheduled to do something. And then once you get there, it's like, oh, no, we had the wrong person. We had the wrong name, the wrong number. It wasn't actually you. It was somebody else. We're so sorry for the inconvenience, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what's the seven of swords? I feel like, too, somebody is playing on your phone. All right. Yeah, the six of wands. All right. What's, what's, the knight, what's the Knight of Wands? So I feel like somebody's trying to trick you. Someone's going to give you the wrong location, and they're going to tell you to be there immediately. All right, I wouldn't worry so much about it. What's the Knight of Wands? 
getting is actually one of your followers yet. So it's almost like you rushed out of your house or you can't get there fast enough. Okay, what's the four of wands? Yeah, so someone's like, we need you to be here immediately. And they don't. And then once you get there, they change up everything or they say, okay, well, it's actually not today. It's next week. It's actually not today. It's next month. We're so sorry about that. You know, sorry for the inconvenience or, you know, sorry you had to come in today. We're so sorry our mistake, something like that. And we have the justice card. Yeah. So I'm getting somebody, somebody needs you to, somebody is changing. Somebody needs you to come to court or you have to call your probation officer. You have to show up, you have to show up. Somebody changed your court date or something like that. All right, but I'm getting when you get there, they change everything. Everything has changed. They, they made a mistake. It was their fault, a clerical issue. Sorry. Hope it didn't cause you too much trouble. All right, what's the, what is the uh, judgment? But I'm getting something actually interferes with this. So I'm getting as you, as you are on your way to this court date or on your way to see your lawyer, your probation officer, something happens, you actually get justice for it. They call, right, they call right before you leave or the judge calls you right before you leave. So I feel like somebody's actually, someone's going to play on your phone and maybe someone, somebody might call your phone and pretend to be a judge, a lawyer, or a probation officer. And the actual judge, lawyer, or PO calls you before you leave like, hey, where are you going? I didn't call you. That wasn't me. That was somebody else. Yeah, so somebody's playing on your phone, but you're going to get justice for this. I'm getting at the last moment. All right, what's the judgment card? So somebody's pretending to be a lawyer, pretending to be a judge, pretending to be a, your PO, your probation officer or something like that, or they're pretending that you have to go to court, you don't. All right, what's the, what is the judgment card? Somebody just wants to inconvenience you, or somebody's trying to get you in trouble or something like that. What is the judgment card, please? We have the Ace of Cups, and then we have the King of Pentacles, okay? I'm also getting two, someone's gonna say you have to pay for something really expensive, like something is like one thousand, two thousand dollars, and they know you don't have it, or they know you don't—they know you don't have the cash on you or cash on hand. So you have to run to the ATM and get the cash out, and then when you get there, you didn't have to pay for it after all. It's already paid, or they made a mistake. So I would wait. I would hold off because you're going—you're going to get enlightened about something. I'm getting just hold off. Just wait, Sage. Don't do anything. Don't don't make any sudden movements or don't take any sudden action because I feel like somebody's trying to make you. Somebody's trying to make you remove money out of your savings account and you don't have to pay for anything. Yeah. So someone's trying to trick you. This is this is really jacked up. What's the six of wands? I feel like someone's gonna say you have to pay for something and you do not. You don't. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups and then we have the quick the King of Swords. Yeah, so someone's going to ask you so many questions. How much money do you make? How many hours a day do you work? How much money do you make per hour? Okay, we need half of that. That's a lie or something like that. So I feel like, I feel like too, someone's going to call you into the office to talk to you about something, your funds, your banking accounts, all right? Or someone's going to have you call your financial institution to verify your income. Do not do that. Someone's trying to figure out how much money you make per month so that they can then charge you accordingly. All right, so some, somebody is, this, this is like somebody's flat out lying to you, man. All right. Somebody's trying to gain access. Somebody's trying to get your uh, your bank statements or someone's trying to gain access to your banking accounts or they want to see how much money you have in the bank, how much money you make per quarter, per hour or whatever, so they can pretty much charge you all of it. All right. Okay. What's the king of swords? Or they can, they can charge you court fees or something like that. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups. Just let it go. Don't even do anything. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Tell them to wait. I don't have it right now. I have to wait till my next payday. Blase skip. Or you have to wait till the end of the month. Yeah, so I feel like do not be, do not be afraid. Do not be alarmed. This is a trick. It's a scam. It's a scheme. All right, so somebody, I'm getting to somebody could be emailing you saying send them money. That's a scam or some shit like that. What's the King of Pentacles, please? Or somebody saying they need money for court. No, they don't. What's the King of Pentacles? Yeah, we have the uh, strength card. Do not call your bank. Yeah, it's harassment. Someone's harassing you. So somebody may tell you to come in and then call your bank over the phone. Don't do it. What am I calling my bank for? Why, how, why is my bank involved here? Why do I have to call my bank and verify anything? Somebody may even ask for your pay stubs or your banking statements. Don't give it to them. All right, it's not, it's, that's not necessary. Somebody's lying. Somebody's trying to see how much money you make. Yeah, the five of wands and the six of swords. Yeah, but I'm getting it's going to be over before it begins. Like, this is not going to work. This is, this is a, uh, I'm getting it's a pretty elaborate scheme, but it's still not going to work. Okay, what's the strength card? 
I'm also getting two. If you see if you see some strange activity on your bank, don't even worry about it. Just ignore it. All right. If you have an issue, your bank is going to reach out to you. All right. Okay. We have the magician. Yes, yeah, some. I'm getting like somebody works for the bank or somebody has uh, somebody has an inside man or something like that. They're trying to gain access to your funds or get your password account. They're, they're trying to figure out how much money you have there so they can steal it or whatever. What's the full card? I'm also getting to somebody's trying to somebody's trying to get your home address. Don't give it to them. All right. So I, I feel like. I feel like don't get. I feel like I feel like just don't answer the phone. Period. And let, if somebody if somebody needs to get a hold of you, they will leave a voicemail. Otherwise, it's not important. Don't don't answer no phone calls. Don't give out your information over the phone. Your banking information, your address, nothing. All right. If somebody needs to speak with you, they will leave a voicemail. If they don't leave a voicemail, it's not fucking important. What's the full card? Somebody's trying to scam you, or they're trying to get your address so they can take you to court or some shit like that. Yeah, we have the five of swords, yes, malicious, and we have the ace of wands. Yeah, because I, I feel like I feel like somebody's mad because you're seeing somebody new or you're doing something new. You have a new job, you've moved on, you were, you left them behind. So yeah, so somebody's trying to get your address because they want to get back at you. Somebody is out for revenge. All right, give me a life card, please, for Sage. Somebody may see you and send you an email saying, yeah, we need further action on your account. We need you to, we need you to verify your ID. Please send us a screenshot of the, the front and back of your ID and your social security card. Don't do that shit. We need you to verify your address. No, I need, you to, I need you to tell me what address that you have and I'll verify it for you. Don't give out anything over the phone. Don't even answer, don't even answer the phone. What's up? Give me a life card for Sage. I feel like someone's, someone's, just, someone's just going to let it go because this is not going to work. All right? Give me a, a life card for Sage, please. So this may be a friend. A friend may reach out to you, one of your followers, and say, I want to come and see you. What's your address? I don't remember. Meet me down the street. Okay, give me a, uh, give me a life card, please. Or what's your phone number? I don't give out my phone number. Sorry. Give me a life card. It says money and wealth. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting you're affluent, you're wealthy, you're well off. Somebody knows that. They want to take your money. Somebody else is broke, and we have genocide. Yeah. So genocide uh, means to kill or to com completely wipe out. So, yeah, so somebody's trying to completely wipe out your savings account. They want, you, they want to deplete you of all your funds. Somebody wants to take all of your money, all of it, every dime. All right, yeah. Okay, it's not going to happen, though. I'm getting, I'm getting your wealth or your money is protected, okay? And then we have the four of pentacles. Yeah, it's protected. You don't have to worry about it. No one's going to take your money. Do not answer the phone. Do not give your information out to anyone whatsoever under any circumstance, period. All right, give me a star card, please. Give me a star card for Sage. Because I feel, I feel like somebody knows that you are free and unencumbered. And they want, to, they want to find any reason to take all your money or to take your freedom, all right, or to take your security away. All right, what's the star card? Or they want to find a way to put you in debt or something like that. What is the star card for Sage? We have child star, yeah. Because I'm getting, I'm getting like your kid is a child star or you are a child star, okay? Yeah, you're free, you're unencumbered, you have your own money, you're secure, you're independent. Yeah, somebody just doesn't like that. They hate that. They hate you. They want to get back at you. They're out for revenge. They're very hateful. And we have Instagram. Yeah, so someone's going to reach out to you on Instagram. I want to come and see you. What's your address? I live in a fucking box. Meet me down the street. Meet me at this restaurant. You can't get my address. You can't have my number, nothing. So somebody's very envious of you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm getting at somebody on Instagram, one of your followers are going to reach out to you, all right, trying to get information in a real sneaky, sly kind of way. All right, give me a love card, please. So they're going to, they, they may come off as a lover or they may come off as an endearing friend, they're not. All right, give me a love card, please, for a sage. 
we have a reconciliation here. They're gonna they're coming back. So I'm getting if you block someone, if you stop talking to someone, they're gonna they're gonna come back with a vengeance. All right, so, so just know that somebody is mad as fuck. They're mad. All right, and we have secret admirer, okay? Yeah, they're gonna come off, like I said, they're gonna come off like an endear, a daring friend, a secret admirer, someone who loves you, they honor you, they respect you. I love your work, Sage. I love what you've done. I really admire you. You know, can I have your number? Can I, can I call you sometime? No, I'm sorry. You can email me though, or we can talk here on Instagram. All right, give me a three dots card. But I feel like somebody's doing something to be funny. All right. They may compare you to somebody else, but it's going to blow up in their face. I just feel like it's not going to work. It's just, yeah, we have, of course. All right, that's your answer. Your second answer is yes. Okay, nice, nice, very nice. All right. So if you're second guessing at all, you're like wondering, is it this person? Of course, yes, it is. Am I going to be okay? Of course, yes, you are. Is my money okay? Of course, yes, it is. All right. Is my security okay? Of course. Yes. 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 All right. Give me a TikTok card for Sage. Maybe no one wants Kool-Aid. All right. <laughs> give me a TikTok card for Sage. We have three to six hours. Yeah, so that, that, that's when they can be expected. Expect something to be coming your way. We have last night. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.